I've chosen for my text one of the most famous paragraphs from the Communist Manifesto. And no, it's not Workers of the World Unite, but rather one that actually captures the profound understanding he had about the nature of change. The bourgeoisie cannot exist without constantly revolutionizing the instruments of production and thereby the relations of production and with them the whole relations of society. Constant revolutionizing of production, uninterrupted disturbance of all social conditions, and everlasting uncertainty and agitation distinguish this epoch from all earlier ones. All fixed, fast-frozen relations with their train of ancient and venerable opinions and prejudices are swept away. All new-formed ones become antiquated before they can ossify. All that is solid melts into air. All that is holy is profaned. And man is at last compelled to face with sober senses his real conditions of life and his relations with his kind. And I would add, as a sort of coda onto this, and his relations to nature. Marx in general was not particularly great as an analyst of environment. It wasn't his concern. But his work has actually come to inform a large and influential body of scholarship and practice known as political ecology that takes as its subject the fact that relations with nature, not just relations of production, because production is in part integrated into processes of nature, it takes as its heart the questions about how do these profound transformations and these social transformations change both how people interact with nature and what nature comes to mean. And in a certain sense also I like this paragraph because of the phrase, all that is solid melts into air. The reason for this is that in a carbon world, in a world where we're incinerating vast amounts of carbon, whether it comes from under the ground or lives on top of the earth, has now become the defining feature of this era. And what that means, of course, is all that is carbon melts into air. <laughs>